Hello dear Goinkans, I hope everybody is fine. Dear kids, in this video we are going to discuss the equivalent fractions and how to find out the equivalent fractions. For this we will be discussing two different methods and before discussing those methods let me recapitulate it a bit that equivalent fractions are those fractions which are having same value which have same value irrespective of their numerators and denominators here you can observe 6 and 12 6 by 12 and 4 and 4 by 8 these are equal to 1 by 2 although their numerators and denominators are different but overall their values are equal so they are said to be equivalent fractions we have two different methods of finding it and the methods are multiplication and division as the name suggests multiplication method is that method in which we multiply the fraction by any number to get the equivalent fraction and in division we divide the numerator and denominator by a particular number to get the equivalent fraction this is exercise 3 it's on page number 115 and the first question is find the first four equivalent fractions by multiplication here we have to make use of multiplication method to find out the equivalent fractions of 1 by 5 since the question mentioned first four equivalent fractions, that means we start from 2 and when we try to find out the equivalent fractions the only one condition that is to be kept in mind is that both the numerators and denominators are to be multiplied by the same number like if here you can observe 1 and 5 both are multiplied by 2 and 2 by 10 is the fraction that we get after multiplication numerator is to be multiplied by numerator and denominator by denominator so 1 into 2 is 2 and 2 into 5 is 10 likewise 1 by 4 is multiplied by 3 and you can observe 3 1's are 3 and 3 5's are 15 1 4's are 4, 5 4's are 20, 1 5's are 5, 5 5's are 25. With this we can obtain the equivalent fractions and this is the way how we make use of the method multiplication to find the equivalent fractions. By this method we can find out infinite number of equivalent fractions for a particular fraction. Next is find the equivalent two equivalent fractions for each of the fraction by division this is one more method and in this method we just divide both numerator and denominator by a number apart from uh, keeping in mind that we 